Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. For the community, by the community. Wow. 2012 is coming to a close in a few days. What kind of year has it been? Good, bad, ugly, positive, negative? Well, that's the highlight and the focus of our discussion on Inspired Success today. I have in the studio with me a dynamic panel of sassy, <laughs> oh, savvy, mm -mm -mm -mm. opinionated, vivacious, gutsy, bold, courageous women. And may I add, yes, sexy. Hey, <laughs> And we will be reflecting on the year 2012. So in a nutshell, it's 2012 in review and it's our view. Tune in, don't you touch that dial right now. We'll be right back. Get ready to find hope. Get ready to be inspired. Get ready to discover your full potential. Get ready for total success from the total success coach, Princess Bola Adelani. This is Princess Bola Adilani, the Total Success Coach, welcoming you to Inspired Success, your monthly dose of inspiration power, the program that equips you with the power and inspiration for total success. That is success at work and in life. Thank you so much for tuning in. Like I told you a minute earlier, I said, this is a very dynamic panel of women. And the show is about 2012. We're reviewing the year. We're analyzing the year. We're giving our thoughts, sharing our thoughts and our opinions on what kind of year you would say this year has been. And it is my great honor and my great privilege to introduce and welcome to Inspired Success, our own local celebrity. Now you know, you know that Princess Bola always brings only the brightest and the best. You know that. And so it is a great honor and a great privilege of mine to welcome, like I said, our local celebrity, Miss Mary Jones, to inspire success. Miss Mary Jones is seated to my far right. She is the host of the Mary Jones Show that airs on WDRC and um, its affiliates all around Connecticut. And so, Ms. Jones, thank you so much for being here on Inspired Success today. I am so excited. Thank you for inviting me. This is going to be a blast. I know so. I know <laughs> so. Thank you. Thank you. And seated to my immediate right um, is a, now I will consider her a, a good friend, a colleague, an amazing business tycoon, um, a, an entrepreneur. Uh, you know, a very obviously savvy, smart, um, you know, woman, professional woman. She's the CEO and the founder of Image Marketing Consultant, a marketing consulting firm located around Hartford, Connecticut. Miss Cake Sigri Sirignano. Yes. Good, Italian. I got that Italian <laughs> accent yes. out there. I finally did that. I didn't put her name. So it's a great pleasure, Kate. Thank you so much for being on Inspired Success. Well, thank you for having me. I'm so excited to be here. Like Mary said, it's going to be a blast. I know so. I know so. I know so. And you know so. You know so. Oh, my goodness. So don't touch that dial. Pick up the phone, text somebody, and let them know Princess Bola is, she's at it again, you know. And this time, oh, my goodness, the conversation is going to be cool, animated, you know, everything. And um, very informational as well. So keep... Keep that dial tuned in to here. And um, to my left, 
my immediate left is oh my god don't you just check her out you know <laughs> young up and coming a yuppie <laughs> young up and coming dynamic woman um she's an entrepreneur as well she is a celebrity pr uh, marketing person and uh, she's also a fashion consultant. As you can see, we have some <laughs> props. She's ready to tell us everything about 2012, the fashion, the fads, the misses, the hits, and what 2013 is going to probably look like, what needs to go out of your wardrobe, and what have you. <laughs> it's my great pleasure to welcome to Inspire Success, Miss Ebony Jackson. Welcome so to Thank Inspired you. Success. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. It's an honor. <laughs> I can't wait for us to get into it. <laughs> <laughs> and lastly, for, but definitely not the least, uh, 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 <laughs> she's no stranger to Inspired Success. She's no stranger to a lot of the programs that I, that I do. Um, she's now more than a colleague. She's a friend, a very good friend, my strategic business partner. We strategize <laughs> together. We brainstorm together together. Um, she's an amazing, amazing woman. Um, mm -hmm. She is also community leader, women's advocate. She sits on the board of the YWCA of the Hartford region. Mm -hmm. She's also have, um, heavily involved with the Soroptimist, um, your local chapter. Um, she's America's marketing motivator. She's an author, a speaker, an executive presentation coach. My friend and colleague, Miss Kathy McAfee, Welcome again to Inspired Success. I'm inspired and ready to rock. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So we're going to kind of just dive right into this conversation. 2000 a year and 12, you know, it's a, another year about to bite the dust <laughs> and mm -hmm. be gone forever. And what would you say? Um, what kind of year has it been? Has it been good? Has it been bad? positive, negative, you know, what kind of year would you say 2012 has been? Well, I'll start off. Yes. You know, Dancing with the Stars, the season ended last night. Oh, really? Oh. <laughs> Let's just get right to that. Because okay. that is, I suppose there are other important things going on in the year 2012, but Dancing with the Stars is the only reality show that I allow myself to watch, and I am addicted to it. And the final was last night, mm. and the woman who I thought was going to win all through the season did, in fact, win. Melissa Rycroft oh, won Dancing wow. with the Stars. So I'm in a pretty good mood today. <laughs> and so for you, your verdict is 2012 has been a great year? Exactly. <laughs> Because whoever you were rooting for <laughs> won, won. And, um, but let, let's even talk about that a little. Dancing with the Stars. I don't know. It's, a, it's one of those reality shows that um, fairly new, but has kind of resonated with a lot of people. They uh, have a lot of followership, viewership. Uh, wh why do you think so? Are, are we, do we care so much about dancing in our culture? Or what, 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 I, why do you think that think has been we, so successful? Yeah, that's a great question. It's been our, I think this is thir the 13th that's, year. Yeah. And I think we care about dancing more now than we did 13 <laughs> years ago because of Dancing with the Stars. Yes. You know, and what a wonderful thing. It's such a healthy activity. I guess so. And, and so it's great to have more interest in dancing because yes. that's a great thing for us in general. Yeah. And, um, oh yeah. and I guess maybe it's one of those, the only few kind of more positive things that are on television this day. Well, that's what I was going to say. It's one of those shows that's a little bit more wholesome, if you will, you know, yes. rather than some of the drama that you see on some of these reality shows with the fighting and the backstabbing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's kind of a guilty pleasure. You just turn it on and watch people dance, you know? <laughs> yes. It's pretty simple. Yes, yeah. yes. Let me ask you, do you, have you found yourself dancing more as a result of watching that show? Or do you just watch other people dance? Mm, well, from, it's, no. it's interesting. Oh. I was asked about five years ago that in Hartford, there was a local version of Dancing with the Stars. Mm -hmm. And they asked me to participate. And I, not knowing what I was getting into, said, oh, yeah, sure, I'll do it. <laughs> I'm up for anything. So I practiced with the professional partners mm -hmm. at Arthur Murray Dance Studio for about two months. There were nine of us participating. We all practiced. And I got so silly. We all did two dances, the waltz and the cha-cha. I did not win, but nor was I the first voted off. But my goal was not even to do well. My goal was to fit into that cha cha dress. <laughs> <laughs> I have to wear it's like, oh I my God. That. Who cares what I look like on the dance floor? I just want to fit into that Do stupid, that. lousy dress. <laughs> uh, you know, one of my goals this year, 2012, mm -hmm. and I probably made way too many goals, but one of them was to dance every day. 
for a few minutes, for a few seconds, but just to move and to express myself without judgment. And of course, like every New Year's resolution, you're doing really well day one, day two, day three, and then you stop. And my son asked me just recently, how are you doing with that New Year's resolution? Are you dancing? And what I found of myself as the older I get, the more constricted and reserved and judgmental of my own expression. Mm. And so I think actually Dancing with the Stars is something we all need to do every day, which is yeah. we just need to move and dance. And dance. Yeah. So yeah. Just dance. Back. Move, yeah. move and dance more. And, yeah. and so coming back to this, you know, overview of the year. And um, so what would you then say? You know, you, you've touched on quite a number of things here about your goals, the goals you set for yourself and kind of not kind of meeting all those goals and then having someone hold you accountable mm. <laughs> and to assess and evaluate. today. <laughs> you can share dance, right? <laughs> and evaluate yeah. that. And so when you kind of want to kind of put it in a mm. nutshell looking, I guess it, it's, it's very personal really mm -hmm. to some extent how you want to um, rate the year and say, you know, has it been good? It's been, been okay? It's been a great year? I guess it really depends on who you are and what your experiences have been. But kind of looking objectively, trying to kind of put yourself outside the picture, what would you say? What kind of year has this year been, you know? I, a lot I, of tragedies, a lot yeah, of, um, a lot. you me, know. Um, a great question. I think it's always so important, and this is just my, my personal mm -hmm. belief. Yes. Any year for me is fabulous yes. as long as there's not personal hardship. I mean, years ago, I remember when my husband passed away suddenly. That was not a great year for me. Yes. But any year other than that, if you have your health, if you don't lose someone close to you, that's pretty much a good year. Yes, I think yes. it all depends on what we make of it. So much right. of it starts right here. It doesn't depend mm -hmm. as much yes. as what's going on in the external world. Absolutely. Yes. I agree. I, I agree. And I think it's about, too, learning to be content in whatever state you're in. You know, whether it's the good or the bad, or whatever opposition you face is having that faith and that positive attitude that you're going to get through it. Yes. You know, because this year has been crazy. I mean, my favorite idol, Whitney Houston, passed away. Mm -hmm. I had a moment. <laughs> <laughs> I had a moment. But, you know, it's like just picking yourself back up and relying on your faith and drawing on that strength and knowing that you are just empowered and you're going to make it. So it's it, it, every year is good. Every year. It every depends year. on what you make out, make it yes. out to be. Absolutely. It really, it, you define what kind of year it has been Absolutely. for you. It doesn't really matter what the circumstances mm -hmm. have been. I know there might have been some very bad circumstances. Some viewer might have been, been watching and, you know, maybe they, they're a victim and trying to recover mm -hmm. from Sandy or, well, you know, lost their job this year or something. Yeah. But really, at the end of the day, when you look back and reflect over the year, it's what you make it. It's how mm -hmm. you define it. Right. It's how you define those circumstances. It's mm -hmm. how you want to take that to the next level and, and, and prove and learn and grow from that. So really, we're saying basically 2012, it's been a great year. And so, you know, there have been a lot of new things, you know, out there. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of new artists came on the scene and oh, yeah. not kind of came on the scene, but just kind of took, took the, the entertainment scene uh, by, by storm, like uh, we're talking about Adele, Adele mm -hmm. you know, and um, Grammy after Grammy after mm -hmm. Grammy. And then there's the Twilight series. Love it. Uh, you do? <laughs> Ooh, oh, Love I it. Know, I, don't I just know. saw Breaking Dawn. I was popping out of my chair in the theater. It was <laughs> what awesome. What vampires? We just <laughs> exactly. love the vampire movies. We just and love that, it. And that would, that, would be, that would be my next question, you know. So... You know, there are many people who say, you know, and, um, and, uh, and are concerned that a lot of the movies coming from Hollywood these days, you know, so much violence and so much horror, and mm -hmm. that it is somehow impacting, um, you know, um, us and desensitizing us mm -hmm. and our mm -hmm. children to violence. And that a lot of, um, you know, like the Aurora shooting that we had this mm. year, it was a Batman, wasn't Batman it? Batman Returns. Ba yeah. Ba yeah. Mm -hmm. And so that it's kind of doing something to us in our culture, making us more violent, making mm. us more aggressive, desensitizing us to, to um, bloodshed and, and, and that kind of thing and horror. Mm -hmm. So, you know, now this is a hit Twilight series, but there's a lot mm -hmm. of things with vampires and what, what, what do you say? Are, are we old school? Am I old school? And um, what do you say? Do you think so? 
I th you think I, we I could mean, do I better? Think personally, I think that's been the case for years and years in terms of too much violence in the movie. Mm -hmm. I don't think that defines 2012 at all. Yes. We could go back to 1992 and have this same conversation about <laughs> yes. that. Right. So that unfortunately has been the case. You know, lyrics to music, movies, mm -hmm. whether it's on television or in the theater, you know, the violence is there. Big yes, time. yes. What we do with that is what maybe we need to pay attention to. Yes, and absolutely. I think you have to be careful of what you do feed your brain and your mind. And uh, a couple movies that I saw this year, The Cloud Outlets, Cloud Out, Cloud, Cloud Cloud Atlas Atlas with yes. um, Tom Hanks. And, oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, fabulous movie, very confusing at first. Uh, it'd be interesting book to read. I haven't read it yet. But there are a couple scenes in that movie that really disturbed me. And there's just something about cannibalism that just, oh. you know, it's just like, ah, I can't deal yeah. with it. Uh, and, and that thought stays in my mind. And yes. so, you know, whether you can close your eyes during those scenes or you choose not to watch, I think it does affect us. And so I we have, have to be careful for ourselves mm -hmm. yes. and certainly for, for our, our children. Kids. Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. So I am, I am very, That's very, true. extremely selective, you know, mm -hmm. about protecting, you know, what I call my ear and my eye gates because yes. that is the um, entrance into my spirit, into my soul, mm -hmm. to my mind. And because I know garbage in, garbage out. Yeah. I mean, it's just a simple principle, you know, philosophy for me. So I'm very protective about what I watch and what I, I watch and what I listen to. Mm -hmm. And so, um, and, and that's the way I, I kind of try and raise and, my kids. And, and that's wonderful. And I know that's so important to you. I applaud you for, for so many reasons, Princess. That's just Thank one. Thank you. But the good news is we have control over that, don't we? We Absolutely. don't have to see yes. anything if exactly. we don't want to. We don't have exactly. to listen to anything. Exactly. I had seen just last week the new James Bond movie, yeah. which was out, Skyfall, which Adele sings the theme song for. I mean, she is just <laughs> everywhere and has that fabulous voice. Yes. Now, Daniel Craig, this is the first James Bond movie I've seen him in. I was not a fan of him for James Bond. I pretty much am now. I mean, he's, he's got those blue eyes. Blue, uh, yes. He's got oh, those yeah. shoulders <laughs> and that thin waist. It's like, oh my goodness. But if you think about classic James Bond, there have been many at this point. I think it's the 50th year anniversary. Mm, wow. And those are violent movies. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people get killed off in James Bond movies. Yeah, but it's not the same kind of violence. Yeah. 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 It's not the yeah. same kind, you know. Yeah. It's, it's nice milder yeah. with what, yeah. compared to what yeah. we see these days. I That's think, true. you know, yeah. that is our definition of violence then, you know. It's a comparison. I think now it's just way out there. You know, and um, yeah, but go ahead. I didn't want to kind of stop, you know. No, so. but just it's a different kind of violence. Yes, you know, different it is. Different kind of violence. But it I think is. the point is that it's we more... really have control over yes. what we listen absolutely. to, absolutely. what we see, what we do. And so if we're concerned, 100%. we know what to do. Just don't go. Don't send your child yeah, exactly. to go. And, you know, and so we can't really, we need to take responsibility is pretty yes. much what mm -hmm. you're saying. We can't blame Hollywood. You know, right. for what it's one thing they put out there, the right. you know, but mm -hmm. obviously it's because there's a market for it, there's a demand right. for mm -hmm. it. And so, if we're not buying it, you know, then they're going to change. So, you take responsibility and say to yourself, you know, that that's not for me. But, um, yeah, well, Kate. the other thing I was going to say too is that, you know, not necessarily can't really shield people, you know, it, it's out there, you're, you're going to see violent images, and it's such an ingrained part of our culture. Yeah, and I think it's all about what you do with that information and how you process it, and you realize, you know, what's you know, what do I want to take into my life? What's what's good? What's bad? And especially, you know, I don't personally have children, but I can imagine yeah. that when you're raising mm -hmm. children, you know, teaching them to adapt to that and, and be able to handle all those circumstances because you can't shield them forever. No, that's true. true. It's true, true. And it's finding that balance that's a exactly. challenge for most parents. You know, it's it's finding that balance, you know. But, um, it's it, you know, it's doable. We can, we can try the best we can. And then, you know, that brings me to my next thing, too. You know, a lot of breakups. Like you said, Mary, it's not peculiar to this year only, you know. Each year we have it. But there were a few surprises for me. You know, oh, like Jennifer yeah. Lopez and Mark Anthony. I thought they were going to stay together forever. I thought sure. she had finally found mm -hmm. the dream guy, you know, <laughs> from her culture, similar, you know. And then, voila. And then there was... Um, the the cruises um, yes, that's oh, great. yes yes mm -hmm. and and that kind of came as a shock and there were so many others you know and um but you know there's been a lot of 
breakups, uh, lots of them this year, and then a lot of hookups. Oh, um, yes. And uh, weren't you surprised oh. that Kim Kardashian and Kanye West got together? I don't want to speak on it. <laughs> I don't want to speak on it. But were you surprised, though? Oh, no, because they're both egotistical and they love themselves. I wonder who looks in the mirror more, Kanye or Kim. It's not going to last. It's, That's another you know, it's so time. superficial. It's like, come on, Kim, Kimmy, really? Really? Okay. Okay. And then, so, this brings... <laughs> I told you we're opinionated. We're that common to take us, and I agree with Corey. It's like nothing Kim Kardashian does would surprise me, whether it's positive or negative. Or, you, you know, know nothing she's would. still married. But why are we so darn interested? Right? That's, that's my next question. Family. That that's was my next question. <laughs> and why are we? What's wrong with us in this my culture? My and then my other question would be that, you know, do we also want to blame reality TV? For destroying our homes, um, you know, our culture, women, and the youth, you know, because now people, some people are saying, you know, that reality television has made a nonsense of what we call traditional marriage and the yes. institution of, mm -hmm. you know, uh, like mm -hmm. Kim that we're talking about, Kardashian, how long was she married for? Like 72 two days. Like something like that. <laughs> so, so what? The foolery. So, so what do you say? I mean, say? she can keep the gifts, right? Is that right? You can keep yeah. the gifts after 72 hours? You know, something? I heard that she actually returned the gift. Well, she donated. Oh, there we go. The proceeds that from the, the gifts. Right. That, okay. that was the right thing to do. She right didn't want to get the bad class. So I'm yes. like, Kim, smart because move. That's, the publicist that's told you the right thing. That's the public. Yeah, the public. Yes. But she's the one that's probably sitting here laughing at us because look at her ratings. You know Exactly. And we're talking about her. We're talking. About her, talking and about her, talking about her. They keep getting more spinoffs, and mm -hmm. you know, you can't and she turn didn't even do shows. well on Dancing with the Stars. Oh, she, she was that. terrible. She was the worst <laughs> one. She did not even do well <laughs> on exactly, and you, we wonder why. You know, no talent, obviously, but so. You know, yeah. why do you think, you know, I think, you know, the younger generation, I don't know, I don't know, why do you think there's such a, you know, this, um, I don't know, attraction and, and, and draw to reality TV and. What of you? Why do you think that? Well, first of all, I'm I'm totally against like the basketball wives, Miami and LA, and all oh, those was... negative shows. I don't even entertain those shows; they're not worth my time. But for those that love those shows, obviously they're still on, so people love those shows. I just think what it is, people just like drama. They like to feel like yeah. they can watch an Ooh, ongoing makes drama. It makes their lives more exciting, like curiously <laughs> living through Evelyn Lozada and yes. Chad Ocho Cinco, <laughs> and what happened with them, and why are they divorced, and yes. people just eat it up like fruitcake. It's exactly. just the and nature of... It makes them feel better. I guess. <laughs> you know, it makes your own drama look very, like, more like, yeah. um, you know... Yeah, Exactly. Mm -hmm. Makes your... Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> and... <laughs> And then there, this, there were the sagas and the scandals um, of 2012. Mm -hmm. uh, the scandals with Arnold, were you surprised? Oh. His uh, love mm -hmm. child. Yes. yes, and um, mm -hmm. Prince that, Ari. That was surprising. And that was that, that surprise. I was too. I was really kind of... Prince yeah. Harry, the nude photos. Um, I, was, I was surprised about that one. <laughs> and recently, General um, Petraeus. Oh, Petraeus. Oh, and I think that was sad. But, you know, there are a couple of, you know, quite a number of them. Mm. Kind of more and more, we find a lot of politicians and our leaders and celebrities kind of in this scandal or some. But you don't hear, and many people might disagree vehemently with what I'm about to say, and that's okay. Yeah. You don't hear as many times about mm -hmm. women mm -hmm. who are finding themselves in those positions. Now, mm -hmm. not that they're not doing that, but just think about some of the powerful people, and there are an awful lot of powerful men in the country, mm -hmm. there are yes. an awful lot of powerful women, but it seems more so, more times, it's the powerful men that find themselves mm -hmm. in oh, those negative media situations. I agree, and maybe it's because they're more powerful men in those powerful positions. Mm, because mm -hmm. they're less women. We know yes. about inequity, mm -hmm. you know, less yeah, women so on the boards, less women in executive positions, less women in leadership in the military. I mean, less women in politics, they're less women. So I guess maybe when we look at it um, that way, mm -hmm. that that's probably why but um, yes, and so, and I guess, you know, when these kind of scandals break out, sometimes that, that would then kind of fit in with what you're saying is that somehow it's the man that gets villainized. 
you know. And so what about the woman that they were having the affair with? And what about what is the guy, you know? Mm -hmm. That's so, so true. That, that the women just come out person. with tell-all books and get all these endorsement deals. It's like, <laughs> exactly. you did something wrong, too. It's what about, about you? Time, though, isn't it? Because it's, it's yeah. been reversed for a long time. I mean, yes. Martha Stewart went down, oh, right? Yes. Down. Yes. Whereas the Enron guys and the, the Worldcon guys, just they got by. Yes. And so, you know, so I think yes. it's, it's fair play. And then my yeah. other thing is, are we hypocritical? Why do you think that? You know, because some a lot of these things going on, you know, if someone has a love child and, you know, committed adultery or whatever. You know, it's some it's, it's things that are going on every day in everyday America. Sure. Mm -hmm. Are we hypocritical and um, being unfair somehow by holding our leaders somehow to a higher standard when it comes to these kind of vices and, and, and human fallibility? Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, my opinion is that, um, and a lot of people might disagree with this, but, you know, people are people. And, um, you know, in, in terms of political leaders and somebody who's leading our country, in, in the case of General Petraeus, you know, to me personally, as long as he's doing his job and he's leading the CIA or, you know, he, he was a decorated military veteran, you know, personally, I don't really care what he does in his personal life. Um, and I know a lot of people disagree with that. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I think that the way it came out so suddenly and, you know, I actually give him credit for coming out and, and admitting it to the way that he did. And, 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 um, yeah. So I, I know, do think I, we do. Yeah, I, I don't disagree with that. Mm -hmm. Except I do think when someone is in a position of such power nationally, representing our country absolutely yes. with the international classifications yes. that he had really i think and this may be old school but i think they really should serve as a role model I and i think i really just family. personally i think i do hold them to a higher mm -hmm. level mm -hmm. for that reason well i guess it's, you come and that, your, may, that may be unfair but i do think, I think that it that's is a question of, of to whom position. much is given much is required you mm -hmm. know mm -hmm. so i understand where you're coming from mary but at the same time i think that um, we have unrealistic expectations mm -hmm. sometimes of our leaders and that we kind of set them up to fail i mean we just kind of put them up there mm -hmm. they're superhuman they're infallible, you know, even spiritual leaders. I yeah. know you're, you're a woman of faith as well, our pastors and all of that. And I, I guess there's some accountability and some responsibility, but the degree is what kind of, I don't know. I don't know where we draw the line, you know, and say, okay, you betray trust. It's different when you're um, using, you're exploiting your mm -hmm. position to mm -hmm. abuse people. That's totally different. Right. Mm -hmm. But if it's a personal, like Kate mm -hmm. said, a personal area of struggle in your life, you know, like, um, you know, you, you're, you're, you're being challenged um, with, um, with um, alcohol, for example, and, and addiction in that area, and you found you got a DAUI, and, you know, why, why do, are we surprised? They're human. Mm -hmm. And why can, don't we cut them the slack and, and, and give them room to grow I and would, take responsibility? Yeah, I, would, I would cut them slack in that regard. Okay. More so than General Petraeus. Okay. I you have a would. hard time cutting him yes, slack. Yes, for him. Because, because of his high profile. such poor judgment. Yes, it's the yes, judgment. Right. Right. Yeah. And he's in a position. Job. Yes, exactly. the position. He has to have good exactly. judgment 24-7. I agree. Mm -hmm. I agree with you on that. So if you just tuned in, welcome to Inspired Success. Um, we're having an animated, very interesting conversation here. We're just sharing our thoughts. We're reviewing 2012, and we're sharing our view, uh, which we're entitled to. And so are you, by the way. And we really want you to join the conversation. I really want you to join the conversation. And you know we're everywhere. I'm everywhere. Inspired Success is on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, all the major social networking sites. So, hey, join the conversation. And all my guests, all of them are also on social media, you know, and just share your thoughts and tell us, you know, what you think and how it was and all of that. So join the conversation. But, you know, we've been just kind of reflecting, looking back on the year and um, just sharing our thoughts and how the, the, the happenings, you know, is impacting our culture pretty much. And then, you know, now I guess we can talk about um, the deaths, you know, 
Um, you had alluded to that um, 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 in the beginning. We, we did lose a lot of talent. Um, as every year, we lose talent. And um, Whitney, there was Larry Hagman. Oh, mm -hmm. my. My boys didn't have a clue what I, I was know, talking about. This is so like, tragic. Oh, you know. missed the 80s with Eat. Dallas. We're that Dallas. was it. You weren't night. born then, I know. <laughs> It was just the highlight of the 80s. I mean, it was just... It was like rocked. Dancing with Stars in the 80s. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was big. Oh, big. big. It was. It was huge. It was it mega. Sure was. And so, um, yes, we lost him. It was, it was a little older. Neil Armstrong, Neil Armstrong you know. And hero. Donna Summer, oh, uh, the queen of disco. Oh. And on and on and on, you know, we did. And so... You know, which person? I mean, there was Vidal Sassoon. I don't know whether you know he would die. Um, mm -hmm. And then My Mike um, Wallace. Oh, um, yes. yes, you know. Yes. And so, you know, wh who do you think we, would you say impacted our generation the most? Mm -hmm. Who do you think that we lost that impacted? Whatever arena that was, you know, we know Neil Armstrong in terms of um, um, the first two... Walk on the moon, walk on the moon and all of that. Impacting. So that's very that's impactful. Big. Yeah. That's big. You know, Just that's big. Our horizons. And, yeah. um, you know, with Donna Summer, you know, yeah. the queen of disco, Whitney. Whitney. She, the Whitney voice, was, Whitney, the yeah. voice yeah. of the yeah. 80s yeah. and 90s. Was she was fabulous. just... Yeah. How old How old was Whitney when she passed? She 48. 48. She was 48. Yeah. 48. 48. Yeah. 48. Yeah. She was 48. What a, what a sad And a stunning, life. stunning to look at, stunning voice and... I don't know. I think, uh, for me, I think, you know, very, very impactful um, from how personally, you know, because her music, her mm -hmm. voice just kind of brought yeah, everything yeah. positive out mm -hmm. in you, you know, very soulful, very classy, very elegant, you know, and um, for me personally. So is, is the common thought as far as Whitney that yes. she made a very poor choice in Bobby Brown and that he really was the negative influence in her life I, I that she just so. could not get away from? Is I that think the, so. Right I think so. I, I'm sorry. I just got to say, I got to say this. I really do not believe that Whitney died of an overdose. I know maybe it's just the fan in me. I just can't bring myself to believe it. I mean, I literally cry for days, okay? Seriously. You're in denial. I, <laughs> <laughs> She's a bad soul. I'm like, I, <laughs> I really, I'm just. The I, autopsy you know, reports yes. know, and everything saying it was, I you know, just, pretty much. I just, so, I mean, um, she was doing so well. She was really making mm, strides. Mm, 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 she was, she was trying, but. She was trying to come back, but it, yeah. I think I the, the demon, the thing it had overcome her was just too much just, for it her. It was sad, like, as you were yeah. watching the, the clips of her in recent months and, yes. and days before her death, you know, even trying to sing. And I know, she I know. She just was making poor yeah, choices cho yes, and yes, was visibly yes. not um, yes, together, exactly. together anymore. And so we're do sorry you think to have <laughs> <laughs> Was it Bobby Brown though? Do you think Bobby Brown was the bad influence? I think he was her? the handler, the introdu the one who introduced her to yes. it. Obviously, yes. But again, you know, everyone has their own right of, of choice. And yes, you know, do. I don't want to say, oh, it's Bobby, Bobby Brown. No, I don't want to say that. I mean, Whitney knew right from wrong. You know, so yes, but you know, there's also power of influence. That's what I, mean, I tell people. That's what I tell you, my viewers. That's what I tell my clients. You know, if you walk in my culture, they say it this way. Okay, if you walk with a dog, you're gonna eat. Um, you know, the S H I T. Okay, <laughs> dog one. So don't hang around and walk with dogs. You know, really, we have to come yeah, and to and friends. really um. Sure. realize the power that our network, our friends, mm -hmm. our relationship, our associations have on us. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just so real. It's very powerful. Oh, but so that's very twofold, and I love that expression. I've never heard that before, I will say. How you can use it. it. But it's twofold because that power of influence, absolutely, but also the power of personal responsibility right. in right. terms of, you know, make sure we have the right people around exactly. us. Exactly. That's absolutely. what I say. That's where your absolutely. power, before you get into that influence environment, mm -hmm. 
don't get there at all because don't tell me that, oh, I'm so strong. They're not going to influence me. They're not going to pull me. I'm not going to buy, you know, it, this is not true. Eventually mm -hmm. you will be lured into that. So the, 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 the important thing is to recognize and say that there's certain relationships, there's certain associations I will not keep because their lifestyle is not consistent with my values and where I want to go. And I know ultimately they're going to influence me. You know, it's just a question of time. Mm -hmm. So, you know, um, you know, make the right choices. Choose the right people. I mean, um, he was a bad boy. We know he was a bad oh, boy. Yeah. And, and I hope knew. that Bobby Christina doesn't fall in the same the same so Yes, yes. Order, you know, um, yes. Oh. We're really break, we're rooting for her. We're, yeah, we're, we're rooting for her. We're all rooting yeah. for her. You know, we are rooting for her. And then, um, you know, then, you know, of course, you, you would say, um, of course, we cannot, we have to talk about the elections. Yeah. Tune into Inspired <laughs> Success, by the way. It's fun. It's fun, 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 fun. Mary Jones is on here. Kate Sirignano <laughs> is on here. I think, you know, a little bit of a twi tongue twister there, but, you know, I got it. I got it. She's amazing. Check her out on um ImageMarketingConsultants.com. Oh, this is um, an amazing young woman that inspires me. <laughs> also, Ebony Jackson, she's the CEO of Divine Influence PR. Yes. She's all about PR. You, a lot of networking to be going on <laughs> oh, here. Yeah. And of course, there's Kathy McAfee. And, and we're talking about um, 2012 review, our view, you know. And of course, you, we're, we're not holding anything, but we're bold, we're courageous, we're gutsy, and we, we, we're, we're thinking about it all, you know? So, um, so we have to then talk about um, the elections. I mean, we have to talk about politics. 2012 is distinct, yeah, yeah it's peculiar mm -hmm. about that. Right. We had a general election, unlike previous years, you know, every four years. So this year was a general election. And... Um, so it depends on which, you know, side of the aisle that you are on. <laughs> and, and I guess, you know, people, for some people, you know, they're thinking, um, you know, it was good. The results, they're happy with the results. Others are not so happy. But for me personally, you know, not going either way and not telling you whether I was happy or not happy. But I feel in my personal opinion that this um, was the most polarized mm. Oh, election yeah. mm -hmm. of all time and um you know so I, I i began to think to myself do we really truly are we truly living in post-racial mm -hmm. america as we claim you know people in 2008 with the you know having our first black president da, 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 da. it was like oh this is post-racial america He's going to bring everybody together. Mm -hmm. He's going to, you know, but by 2012, I'm telling you, the lines were so divided. It was so, oh, yeah. so divided. It was drawn thicker. The uh, House is the Republican. The Senate is Democrat. And it is so, it was just, there was so much racial undertones. Mm -hmm. And um, so, you know, and then there was the Trevor Martin oh, case as well. So, you know, come on, mm. hit that conversation. Don't, don't hold back. Don't be politically correct. Okay? Well, I think, I think so race, what do you think? racism is alive and well in America. Oh, my oh, goodness. It's yeah. absolutely. Under the radar screen. Mm. It's not as apparent as it was in the 60s. Yes. There's not as much you know, separation, segregation, but it is absolutely as thick as yes. it ever was. And I think we all need to really take a look at our own views on mm. racism our own biases and prejudices, and we've got to take a stand. And yes. this is one of the learnings that I had with the YWCA Hartford region, because eliminating racism is, is a second, second part of our, the half of our mission, empowering women, eliminating racism. Mm -hmm. And we have a program every year, a national movement called Stand Against Racism, which by the way is this coming year, 2013, on Friday, April, I believe it's the 26th. It's the last Friday of April. And it's our chance to really recognize what's truly going on inside of us as well as in our community. And um, I will tell you, I led a, a discussion with the Boy Scouts, mm -hmm. uh, my Boys Boy Scouts troop this year. And I was amazed at what we all might expect. You know, we said, does racism exist in your Boy Scout troop and in this lovely community? And they all went, oh, no, no, we're all, we're all friends. We're all good. 
And then you dig a little deeper and dig a little deeper and this set of parents doesn't want that kid coming to this house because he lives in the wrong neighborhood. And, and even the kids being able to talk about how parents influence kids' mm. views about race. Yes. And they can play yes. in the sandbox really well as kids until someone tells them, oh, that kid's not good enough. That kid's different. Yes. And so it's socialized. It's institutionalized. It is, it is. It's, what, it is alive. Something I also come, there is when we think of racism here. I, you know, I will always often think that it's white against the blacks, but That's in reality, saying. there's reverse Jewish, racism. Yeah. I pick some racism from people of color too. You know, so we always think that we are the ones, the minorities, we're the ones discriminated against. But um, racism works in different ways. It's just about prejudices, unfounded prejudices against one race of people. Or, you know, uh, you know, I don't know. So I, I saw that in different ways. But yes, I think, and, and I'm surprised when you think about your Boy Scout, because I think... I think that the millennials, you know, they're growing up in a more integrated mm -hmm. um, culture and, and, and um, so that it's not as pronounced in that with their generation, they are more inclusive and all of that. But you're right, because sometimes my boys make certain statements that I have to stop them and say, no, where, where's that coming from, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, absolutely, it is still alive and well in every culture, you know. That's true. Yeah. And, and I think that we all really need to take, take get, get, be accountable. And so I'm saying to myself, are we really moving forward then as a nation? You know, there's the fiscal cliff. There's, you know, even when we look at the House and the Senate and, the, you know, I don't know. How do we bridge that? How can we come together and focus more on the issues. How do we even agree mm -hmm. on the solutions to the issues? Mm -hmm. We all know the, what the issues are, economy and, right. and foreign policy and safety for us overseas and da, 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 and safety at home. And, you know, we know the issues. But I guess we're so divided about the solution, mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. the strategies, you know, and um, there just well, seems to be no meeting yeah, point. I, yeah, I agree wholeheartedly. One of the things that concerns me when mm -hmm. I think about that, and I had this thought many times throughout yes. the past really 18 months yes. since the campaigning began and yeah. ended, of course, last month with the election, I really think, and unfortunately, I'm not overly optimistic that this is going to happen anytime soon, mm -hmm. but I think that many people are too focused on the R and the Ds. And even mm -hmm. when you talk about it that way, when you focus it's on exciting. it, you're forgetting the big picture. Yes. I think by even placing yourself on one camp or the other, and of course everyone is, but when that's your first priority and achieving difference is your second priority, it's not going to happen. Yeah. It's not going to happen. I really think we need to switch that, unfortunately. And I'm, yes. not, I'm not overly hopeful that's, that's going to happen, I'll say, in my lifetime. Yeah, I, wow. I hope it does. Because I think it's particularly bad with this um, current administration and leader. I don't know. Because for me, I think, and I think race has a lot to do with it. I really do. Mm -hmm. And I think that people are... Uh, you know, so blinded that that is the fundamental issue for a lot of people that they would even throw the weight of their support to, you know, behind one person or the other based solely on the race factor, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So and until we get That's over that, and that is a shame, mm -hmm. until mm -hmm. we get over that, I, I don't know, it's going to be hard. But there's some good news, I mean, as far as more women voted into into the Senate and all of that, you know, that was, that's good to see. So for me, you know, I'm happy about seeing more and more women stepping up in politics. Do we, and, do we think that this country is ready for a woman president? We haven't had one of those yet. I know. I think we are. I think we I are. Do I think we are, ready. we are more than ready. And I would like to make the first nomination. <laughs> for Princess Bola. Right. Oh, oh, oh. be president of Princess Bola or Princess President or, you know, what would, oh, yeah, so that'd be a tough thing. We'll figure the details out. Okay, yes, we'll work out the details. Uh, I don't know. I, I think, I, I think I'm just too opinionated, too hardline, 
I'm not a centrist at all, trust me. I'm either <laughs> I'm on one side. My side is so always obvious. That's me. I don't know. I'm not I don't know how to play politics. I'm not in the middle. I'm not gray. You know, it's, I'm black and white. Has so anybody here ever thought about taking a <laughs> civic leadership role, a political role? No. No. Ever think about that for yourself? No. no. Why? Because you would look good. Oh, you would look good. good. <laughs> She's got the shoes. Oh, yeah. She's the black oh, yeah. with those shoes. Oh, yeah. Stylish. Oh, That's yeah. right. That's no right. None of that really office. boring stuff. He's like Paris yeah. Hilton <laughs> running for office. All in the low end. I think, Princess, that you actually would be good because, yes, you are opinionated. I mean that in, in the most positive way. I mean, goodness, you have to be intelligent enough to have opinions, and you are. Look at Thank Governor you. Christie. He is so popular in New Jersey. He is very yeah. opinionated. Is. His, his favorable yeah, ratings home. are off the charts yes, right now. Yes. He has a likability factor. Thank you. That's a compliment. Mm -hmm. Just like the president, you know. He's a real oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. The president also, no matter, what, even if you don't like his politics, you have to like him as a person. He's, and it is he's very personable, very Yes. Charismatic. When a leader does well in crisis, you know, you just, that's when you see them shine. Yes. Whether it's Hurricane Sandy or other, you know, 9 11 or something, if you can rise yes. to the occasion, that's, I think that's the time we see the true and leadership. And the president did, our Governor Malloy did, mm -hmm. with terms of yes, Storm Sandy. Yes. Mm -hmm. you know? So, yeah, good. Now we got so it. So now you got something to think about. Okay. Oh, right. oh please forget it, forget it. Four years, yeah, four years to make it happen. Okay, you tell me what you think, okay? <laughs> okay. Can you, can just imagine me, politics? No, nah. Well, no, all right, no, wait, I would wait. wait, yeah. wait. <laughs> <laughs> Thank yeah. you, yeah. you're Seriously speak. speaking. I think that will be about the only book. Seriously speaking, I want to hear from you one good reason why not. Because it's just not in line with my passion. I, I want okay. to transform the world. I want mm -hmm. to change the world. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I think most politicians run for that reason. That's most of them, so right. hopefully, mm -hmm. that's the right reason. They want to make a change and bring change. So in that area, you know, our, our missions kind of fit, you know, but I the, have the new, the strategy I want to mm -hmm. use is not political. It mm -hmm. is going through the hearts of people mm -hmm. and it's more spiritual. Right. It's right. by bringing that inner change and mm -hmm. transformation in, in the person. You know, All right, well, I'll give so you that. That was a perfect answer. Good answer. Good answer. answer. You have to, you have to thank, you, thank you. Thank that you. That was perfect. Thank right. you. Join the conversation. Facebook, Inspired Success. Twitter, Inspired Success, you know. And just, just tell us what you think about the year. What kind of year. And you won't believe we only have a few more minutes. But girls are in the house. And so we're yeah, accessories. Girls, oh, girls yeah. just want to have fun, fun. <laughs> you know, we got to talk fashion, oh, beauty, yeah. and everything. And we've got the diva in the house. You can see her with all her nice fur, jacket, the colors. Miss Diva, celebrity you, fashion you consultant. Your, show your, show your can shoes. Can you stick your feet up? Yeah. Oh, gosh. Like, wow, <laughs> Give us the, 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 the scoop here, you know. Okay. 2012, the fashion, the style, what is it? A lot of glitz and what do you think is going out? What's going to come and okay. stay into the new year? You have sure. only a minute, actually, <laughs> to do this. Okay, definitely, ladies. 2012, we do not want to see in 2013 the heelless trend. It's totally got to go. We're moving into more clean, refined, um, fabulous silhouettes. We're thinking Ooh. breakfast at Tiffany's, Audrey Hepburn styles, the classic pump, we love it. Totally peplum mm. styles are totally in. As a fabulous, chunky, ornate. Chunky, yes, yeah. I love it, chunky. Yes, this yes. is everything. That's beautiful. It's definitely tribal jewelry. Sure. Is that heavy? Yeah. <laughs> it is heavy. <laughs> Not so bad. I love definitely that. Definitely. Yeah, that's clean. Clean. Yeah. Everything clean. Yeah. You know. And Lots so of leather. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Yeah. You've got it. <laughs> Hook up with her. Divine Influence PR. Dot com. Yes. She'll give you all the latest scoop, and um, you've been on magazine cover. Um, you cover some mag magazines, and you know, so she can help you, and she can help you with your brand. So Absolutely. if you're um, you're in the fashion industry, and yeah. you want to really kind of get out there and all that, she's the ebony is the person to call. We only have about two more minutes. We have to go now into what you think the common thread, corporate America. That is now my forte, the marketplace, the business world, you know. Um, what has been kind of been the 
common thread here, excuse me. You know, there have been, um, you know, in the year. Um, for me, I, I look back and I see throughout the year, there's been a lot of conversation around the word branding. You know, branding, mm -hmm. branding, branding, branding. Mm -hmm. At the UK, man spoke on branding at the last um, Total Woman Conference for Young Women. And then, you know, a lot of also training on social media, mm -hmm. the technology also, because it's a new arena, but uh, people, everyone is online, a lot of apps, mobile mm -hmm. apps, and, you know, training along those line, how to leverage social media for your business, you know, for your corporation, even for your career, personal, mm -hmm. you know, people are now having video um, resumes mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. the, all kinds of things. So we're really... Um, this year, I think, really building and honing and, and really building and focusing and zeroing down on the whole social technology thing. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, so how has that impacted you? What are your, some of your favorite apps and, 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 and gadgets um, like me really trying to keep up with the time? Just got my new iPad 4. I kind Love of struggle it. between the Love mini it. and the... Fall with the new resin and everything, you know. So, what are some of them in one w minute, in one word? Would you say for you has been a favorite and something that um, you know has been a consistent thread in terms of you know what you've seen, you know, with um, your listening audience um, reinvention? What would you say has been that common thread that you've seen in terms of where people are personally? I am addicted growth. to Facebook. If we're talking one word, okay. <laughs> I would say Facebook in terms of the impact that it has made for corporations and but for individuals. Yes. Facebook. Facebook, Facebook. I agree. I totally agree. I don't know how many people here I've met on Facebook that I'm not meeting live. So Facebook, social media, you know, they went IPO this year. I mean, the followership is now about, is it half a billion across the world? That's the place. If you're not on Facebook, where are you? You're dead. <laughs> I'm telling you. How about on the woodworks? Oh. Facebook.com inspired success. <laughs> what would you say? What would you say? I think the two new ones that we've seen uh, more so over the past six months have been Pinterest and Instagram. I mean, those two yeah. are all about visual yes. imagery yeah. and collaboration and kind of taking the social media to the next level where you can share mm -hmm. more specific ideas and whatnot. So, so for you, clients, that would be for yeah. you. That's what you're those seeing two. that those two are the mm -hmm. new. Do you think you'll be as successful as Facebook and that the retention no. will be? I think yeah. Facebook is kind of the oh, hub of the yes. Exactly. Yes. I think yeah. so. I yeah. think so. I think yeah. so. Because with a lot of them, they make it that whatever you post on there is, um, can, is up, can go on Facebook and all of that. Right. So I agree. What's that one word? What have you seen that for your clients personally, you know, what has been that one thread throughout the year that you think people have been kind of... Um, uh, yeah. For me, Twitter. Definitely Twitter. Oh, okay. Um, well, you, you guys are talking social media, yeah. So, so yes, Twitter for Twitter, you. Twitter. Definitely really? Twitter. Mm -hmm. I made so many stylist contacts and major industry contacts, influencers in the industry, in the fashion industry. I made a lot of connections mm -hmm. on Twitter. Just DMs and just really connecting with a lot of established people on Twitter. It's been uh, great. Okay. Yeah. And then... And my one word is distraction. Mm. I love what's happening. I use it. It, it. it is amazing. It's fun, but it is mind sucking. And what I've seen with my corporate clients yeah. is that they've gone so technology that they've lost the ability to think, to focus, to concentrate for any mm. period of time. Mm. So actually what I'm teaching is the, the zig and the zag. I'm doing <laughs> the opposite. I'm teaching my clients to go analog to close the laptop, to shut down, to power down, to actually write out old-fashioned questions and to think. And I think it's the balance mm. between yeah, that, that thinking ability, doing it the old-fashioned way, focusing, being present, and all the cool gadgets that we have that speed us up. But the speeding us up, the multitasking, makes us, I think, feel powerful and exciting, but yes, we are I becoming agree. more distracted. Yeah. 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 I agree. I think I'm addicted. I totally and addicted. agree. And yeah. I think you're just realizing it's a tool. And with any yeah. good, every good thing and any good thing, it can become an addiction and become mm -hmm. problematic if it's overused and misused Absolutely. or abused. Right. You know, and so, so there true. is that danger. But um, I definitely think that the shift, or definitely, 
uh, that's the direction we're going, mm -hmm. you know, more. And everybody wants to kind of build their brand to make sure they have a cool presence there. And we're going to see more of that in the coming years. Mm -hmm. I definitely want to do more, you know, blogging, more video blogs, mm -hmm. more, you know, vi you know, just getting out there more and use that platform. And so that's the conversation. Can you believe 60 minutes is really? over? Yes. It is just over. Just like the year. Fun. <laughs> exactly. Just like yes. the year. Just like the year. It's over, but it's not over yet. Um, Inspired Success will right. be back next month. And next month, we're going to be looking into the year um, wow. 2013, you know, kind of. I'm going to bring in some prophets. Ooh, and you're going to tell, you know, nice. the difference between prophets and psychics. And they're going to be telling us what 2013 holds for us. Right. Wow. Prophetically, nice. yes. Perfect. So make sure you tune in. I thank you so much. Amazing, amazing panel of women. I've enjoyed the conversation. Oh, thank you, thank you for your time. Us. You know, it's thank you, Miss Mary Jones. Connect with her. Connect with Kate. Connect with Ebony. Connect with Kathy. Mm -hmm. And of course, connect with me. This is Princess Bola Adelani, the Total Success Coach, reminding you to keep smiling. Hey, come on, put a smile on your face. Life's too <laughs> short. Come on. Keep believing. Keep networking. Keep learning and keep on keeping on. You're on the winning side. I'll see you next month. Thank you so much for doing, tuning in. God bless.